Caesar Milan is quoted as saying, in the 70s they blamed Dobermans, in the 80s they blamed German Shepherds, in the 90s they blamed Rottweilers, now they blame the Pitbull. I want to debunk this piece of pro-Pitbull propaganda because it really pisses me off and I should have made this video a lot sooner. You will see this circulating all over social media and it is meant to appeal to your emotions, not your intellect. It is deceitful, dishonest and manipulative and I'm going to show you how. I am deliberately not referencing dogsbite.org because a lot of dog worshippers say it is a biased website, that it's manipulative. It's not. It is totally objective. But you can find these statistics elsewhere, as I have. You can just go on Wikipedia. You can, you know, look for yourself. Do an online search. If Wikipedia is wrong, prove to me that it is wrong. You can go back through time. You can go back to the 1800s and read through to the present. You can see the types of dogs that were killing people and that are still killing people. And so when you look here in the 1940s, what do you have? Bulldogs, Rottweilers, Dobermans, Staffordshire Bull Terriers, German Shepherds. Yes, all these dogs are killing people, right? So we're going to get up to the 1970s shortly. And remember, in the 1970s, people were blaming Dobermans. So let's see how many people were killed by Dobermans in the 1970s. So we're almost there. Uh, Great Dane, German Shepherd. Here we are, 1970s. Labrador Retriever, German Shepherd, St. Bernard, German Shepherd, St. Bernard, St. Bernard, Golden Retriever, St. Bernard, German Shepherd, Dachshund, Labrador Retriever, Two Collies, Basenji, Mongrel, German Shepherd, Husky Type, German Shepherd, Labrador Retriever Mix, Great Dane, Pit Bull, German Shepherd, St. Bernard, German Shepherd, Kerr, Alaskan Malamute, St. Bernard, Labrador Retriever, Shepherd Mix, St. Bernard, Pit Bull, Great Dane, Elk Hound, German Shepherd Mix, German Shepherd, Irish Setter, German Shepherd, German Shepherd, Dachshund, and we're already into the 1980s. How many people were killed by Dobermans in the 1970s? A big fat zero. That is how much of a threat Dobermans were in the 1970s. Moving on to the 1980s, when German Shepherds were apparently blamed. Uh, so what do we have in the 1980s? Dobermans, Mongrels, Pitbull, Chow Chow, St. Bernard, Coonhound, Pitbull... Uh, Malamute, Pitbull, Akita, Pitbull, Terrier, Siberian Husky, German Shepherd. Okay, there's one. Pitbull, Pitbull, English Sheepdog, Malamute, German Shepherd Dog. Another Feral Dogs, Pitbull, Pitbull, Coonhound, Pitbull, Pitbull, Husky, Pitbull, 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 Pitbull. German Cattle Dog, Pitbull. Labrador Retriever, Rottweiler, Rottweiler, Wolf Husky Hybrid, Pitbull, Mongrel, Pitbull. Uh, Labrador, Doberman, Labrador mix, Husky, German Shepherd, Pitbull, Chesapeake Bay, Rottweiler, and we're already into the 1990s. So how many people were killed by German Shepherds in the 1980s? Five, including a mixed breed and a possible German Shepherd. That is how much of a threat German Shepherds were in the 1980s. Moving on to the 1990s now, when Rottweilers were apparently blamed. How many Americans did Rottweilers kill in the 1990s? Well, let's see. What do we have here? Akita, Pitbull, Alaskan Husky, Labrador Retriever, Rottweiler, Rottweiler, Pitbull, 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 Rottweiler, Pitbull, Rottweiler, Alaskan Malamute, Wolf Dog, Rottweiler, Pitbull, Pitbull, German Shepherd, Wolf Dog, Rottweiler, Rottweiler, Rottweiler. There's no denying Rottweilers were killing people in the 1990s. Chow Chow, Rottweiler, Pitbull, Rottweiler, Rottweiler, blah, Rottweiler, 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 it's hard to say fast. Rottweiler, Rottweiler, lots of Rottweilers killing people. Uh, there's no denying that. Pitbull, 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 Labrador Retriever, Rottweiler. We're already into 1998. St. Bernard, Mastiff, Mixed Breed, Labrador Retriever, German Shepherd, Airedale, Airedale, whatever, don't know how to pronounce that. Briard, Briard, whatever, don't know how to pronounce that either. German Shepherd. And we're already out of the 1990s. How many Americans did Rottweilers kill in the 1990s? 18. 
including Rottweiler mixes. Now, I admit I could be wrong. I counted twice. I did my best, but maybe I'm off by one or two. If I'm wrong, let me know. So we have 23 Americans that were killed by Dobermans, German Shepherds, Rottweilers, and their mixes in the 70s, 80s, and 90s combined. Compare that to 37 Americans killed by pit bulls and their mixes in the same time period. Now, maybe people were blaming Dobermans, German Shepherds, and Rottweilers back then, but they would have been fools to do so because they should have been blaming the pit bull because pit bulls were doing more damage. They were killing more people. Why were they not being blamed? I don't know why, but there you go. You cannot argue with numbers. You cannot argue with statistics. Statistics don't lie. Pro-pit bull people do lie constantly. The dog lobby is constantly lying to us, deceiving us, and manipulating us. It is how they work. They work through deception. Now, let's move on to the 2000s, just to have a look at what's going on in the 2000s. Now, pit bulls are becoming more popular as pets, especially after 2007, when Michael Vick was arrested for dog fighting and people wanted to own pit bulls. It became fashionable to own them. Uh, people wanted to own them for different reasons. Uh, some people wanted them to enhance their masculinity. You know, these criminal types, they feel like their penis is bigger if they have a pit bull on a leash somehow. I think a lot of people uh, want to own pit bulls because it makes them feel powerful and special. Like, look at me. I'm able to tame the beast. Oh, owning a pit bull isn't for everyone. Not everyone can handle this breed, but I can because I'm special. I'm a better dog owner than you are. Uh, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, there's also the, it's just to signal virtue in some cases. You know, some people are like, oh, look at what a virtuous person I am. I rescued a pit bull. Uh, and if it was abused, even better because then that makes you look even better, right? Oh, you saved a dog. Oh, how virtuous of you. And then you got the fur mums, the pity mums, whatever, these women that I think are maybe sexually attracted to their, to these dogs. Maybe they are attracted to these dogs because they might look somewhat more human to them than other breeds because of how their eyes are spaced far apart and their short hair and stuff. Maybe, maybe it's the mouth, that big fleshy shark-like mouth when the dog regulates its body temperature and hangs its tongue out. I know that people are so stupid, they actually believe this is a smile, and so they think the dog is smiling at them so idiotic, but maybe that's it. Maybe they just like to have a creature smile at them. Anyway, for whatever reason, pit bulls became more common as pets uh, around 2007. So what do we have here? I counted 100 Americans killed by pit bulls and their mixes in the 2000s. Again, I could be off by one or two. Let me know. Compare that to the 51 Americans killed in the same time period by Dobermans, German Shepherds, Rottweilers, and their mixes. Clearly, pit bull type dogs were killing more Americans than those other dog breeds. So why is that not talked about? I'll tell you why. It's because dog worshippers are deceptive and they don't deal with reality. They don't deal with facts. Let's move on to the 2010s now, where you will see very clearly that pit bull type dogs are implicated in the vast majority of killings. You will see other breeds as well. And one thing I want to point out is that what this list, what these lists tell me is that all dog breeds are dangerous. You will see even Pomeranians and Dachshunds killed people. Jack Russell Terriers, Golden Retrievers, Collies, Old English Sheepdogs, dogs that most people think are very docile and gentle and harmless have killed people. No dog is safe to have in our communities. No dog is safe, period. They are all a danger. But look at this. Pitbull, 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 German Shepherd, Husky, Pitbull, Rottweiler, Pitbull, Pitbull. This is the trend. And I encourage you to take the time to read through the stories. You know, people have this idea that, oh, these dogs have attacked and killed people because they were provoked. They blame the victim. Usually, the victim was doing nothing but minding their own business. Or they blame the owner. They say the dog must have been abused or mistreated or trained to be vicious. In most cases, there is no evidence at all to support that. 
there's just no proof. They make these outlandish claims and have absolutely no evidence, no proof, nothing to back their claims up with. It's absolutely mental. Pitbull, 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 pitbull. Pitbull, pitbull, mastiff, pitbull, Shiba Inu, pitbull, boxer. It just goes on and on and on and on. Clearly, pitbulls are a lot more dangerous than other breeds. So I don't know how this is not common knowledge. I needed to make this video to point out how deceptive dog worshippers are when you see them circulating these memes on social media, call them out on their bullshit, share this video with them. Uh, if people were blaming Dobermans, German Shepherds, and Rottweilers in the past, they were fools to do so because pit bulls were killing more people than all of those breeds combined. And they still are, by a large margin. If you don't trust dogsbite.org, go to other sources. Dog bite statistics, dog bite fatalities. These reports are not hard to find. They are all over the internet. Do your own research. Don't rely on propaganda, dog lobby propaganda. People need to think for themselves. They need to stop eating up what they are being spoon fed by the dog lobby. The list goes on and on and on and on. You know, anyone who shares these memes, anyone who shares this misinformation, anyone who engages in this deception has blood on their hands because people are being killed regularly by pit bull type dogs as well as other breeds, but pit bulls are doing more damage by far. Not only are they being killed, I haven't even talked about disfigurements. You know, 28,000 people in the United States are undergoing reconstructive surgery every year due to dog attacks. Most of these dogs attacking are blocky-headed pit bull type dogs. These people are scarred physically, emotionally, and mentally for life. No one seems to care. So anyone sharing dog propaganda has blood on their hands, and I think that anyone who does not call it out also has blood on their hands. There's a quote I heard. It's attributed to Edmund Burke, I believe. It states that the only thing necessary for the triumph of evil is for good men to do nothing. In other words, it's not the people doing the evil that are to blame. It's those who stand around and do nothing to stop them. If you do not call out the dishonesty and the manipulation of dog worshippers, you're just as much to blame, if not more to blame, than those dog worshippers themselves who are pushing these killer dogs onto society. Collectively, we need to stand up and confront them with their bullshit. We need to call out their deceit and tell them to shove it up their asses. We're not going to take it anymore. Let them know that they are idiots, that they have blood on their hands. Show them the numbers. Show them this video. 235 Americans killed by pit bulls in their mixes in the 2010s compared to 46 Americans killed by Dobermans, German Shepherds, Rottweilers and their mixes in the same time period. Insane. If you see dog worshippers sharing this meme, share my video with them and ask them why were pit bulls not blamed in the 70s, 80s and 90s because they were killing more people than all those other breeds combined. You know, pit bulls have a bad reputation, and it is well-deserved. The future is dog-free.